On Saturday, April 25th, I received a, a, a disaster alert. Um, since then, we've been in constant communication with our partners in the Integral Alliance, as well as our own, our own capacity here in, at the Medair Med headquarters. Uh, that's all resulted in uh, a team being sent tonight in order to arrive in Nepal uh, within 48 hours of the event taking place. An event like this causes a huge number of problems. The initial ones are obvious to see. The buildings come down, uh, people are in the streets, um, people are in fear of their lives because already we know there have been at least 30 aftershocks so that people won't return home. They'll be camping out with their friends, they'll be finding somewhere they feel is safe, they'll be lighting fires, um, they'll just be trying to stay alive at this point. Um, the weather conditions, we know it's raining right now, there's thunderstorms um, and cold weather forecast I think, small children, the elderly, um, people that have got less mobility, they won't be able to keep themselves warm. They'll be looking for blankets, food, um, warmth, all the things to keep themselves alive. Um, the government can't possibly respond to all the needs. We don't know how many million are affected, but it's, it's covered a huge area. So uh, with already 2,000 deaths, we're probably talking of uh, tens of thousands of people displaced without shelter. So Meadow will be looking to um, really understand people's needs on the ground. Um, they'll be looking at the housing situation or lack of it, the temporary shelters that people have managed to build or not build. And we'll be looking to supply people with those really essential household items, such as maybe things to cook with, maybe things for washing, um, simple tools to make themselves a shelter, even simple tools to clear a space on the ground to put a shelter. Um, hammers, wheelbarrows, these sorts of things. So this is a sort of um, uh, what we call a quick impact action that we'll be looking to try and do to get people mobilised, to give them a bit of hope that things can be done and do what we can in maybe a very small way just to play our part to try and get people back to normal life. We'll be with people, looking for them, staying in tents, uh, looking, you know, w walking through the countryside, uh, looking for villages, looking for towns. Uh, really getting across the country as best we can um, to look for areas of need. So yes, we'll be basically li living rough for the next few weeks. After the, in those initial weeks and day days and weeks, things will slow down a bit and we'll look at a longer term recovery process, perhaps rebuilding homes or perhaps rebuilding uh, community, play, uh, community centers and hospitals and things of that nature. We need literally funding in place so that we can deliver life-saving assistance in the immediate days and weeks following the disaster. However, going forward in the months to come, it's still hugely necessary that we have sufficient money to rebuild people's homes and rebuild hospitals and community centers and places where, where people will go to. Mm -hmm.